What it do, what it do, it's your boy BX Brother 718 underscore TV live with NBA 2K 23 USBA My League Online preseason matchup with my Knicks going up against the Grizzlies. Folks, Brian Anderson here, alongside two fantastic analysts, Grant Hill and Brent Berry at the table, and our reporter, Allie LaForce. It'll be the Knicks off the tip. And here's Brunson. And these are two high-flying teams, Grant. Loads of athleticism on the floor. What's it like to play in a game like this? Oh, B.A., it is the best. It's so much fun. I mean, of course, here we're expecting lots of fast breaks, dunks, just in general, a lot of action. And, of course, the fans love these type of games. I can't wait. Here's Moran. Adams a screen. And there's the foul. It'll go on Julius Randle. That's his first foul. Nice. Kind of a ticky-tack foul there, but you have to be aware that's how the refs are going to blow the whistle tonight. Now here's Moran. Adams inside. Pass to Bain. Now Moran. Shot clock at six. Connects from downtown. We've watched Moran get so good at this. Instinctively spots the opening and feeds a really good shooter. Here's Randall. Robinson with it. Outside Reddish. Pass to Barrett. Second chance effort. And too long on the shot. He just couldn't finish the job that time. And too bad, because it was a nice look. Yep, that one goes. The quick feed of Moran. He's so dangerous when he's cutting to the rim. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. It's Barrett on the wing. Basket is good. Off the assist from Brunson. Well, RJ is a natural scorer. It's very hard to totally shake him off that kind of focus. Back to Bain. Pass to Adams. Outside Morant. Outside D, 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 D. Come on, get the rebound. The free ball. It's hauled in by Reddish. Yeah, ever since the Nets relocated to Brooklyn in 2012, the rivalry between the Nets and Knicks has intensified. Now, both teams trying to prove that New York belongs to them. Oh, I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. Well, he's going to just keep going now. That's early confidence for him. Back to Moran. They get it back. From downtown. Knocks it down from distance. Moran's got five now. And a wonderful awareness from the big man as Steven Adams finds the open man. 
It'll be hard for the Nets to take New York City away from the Knicks. They've been there so long. <laughs> so true, B.A. But the Nets have attracted more star players lately. Top three agents choosing to go to the Nets instead of the Knicks. We'll see if this trend continues moving on. Already six of their points coming off second chances. Pretty impressive. Pass to Randall. And stolen by Moran. And Jalen Brunson gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. Second team. And here are the Grizzlies now. Now Brooks. His offense has been solid, scoring around 11 and a half points a game. Yeah, their aggressive approach on the offensive glass has created second chance opportunities. Now here's Brunson. Trailing by eight. Outside Reddish. Pass to Barrett. They need this. He can't get it to go. And here's Memphis now. Here's Brooks. Outside Bay. Down to five on the shot clock. From deep three-point range. The Knicks with the rebound. Here's Barrett. No good that time. Ooh, good work defensively by Adams. Down low. Brooks outside. To the left side wing. Pass to Conchar. Fires from deep. It's hauled in by Reddish. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. And the bucket is good. And they may have talked about shot selection coming into this. And so it's Memphis with it. The Knicks making their last shot. Bain with it. They look to him to score consistently, averaging around 13 and a half a game. Outside Barrett. The shot goes as the ref calls the blocking foul. And he's on his way to the line. I'm impressed with R.J. Barrett and his body control when he's around the basket like that. Good finish. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Memphis. It's all about the offensive boards. I mean, there's just a statement about toughness, trying to demoralize your opponent by outworking them, out-hustling them. And they've sort of assumed control of this game with their pressure defensively. They've been into the ball handler. They've done a great job of swarming. So they're creating some turnovers that they're capitalizing on. Now here's Brunson. Checking the numbers. He's averaging close to 15 a game. Another shot. Oh, Randall. Here's Randall. And so he draws the foul, heading to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to be on Dylan Brooks. And yes, there's been growth in Julius Randle and his game year after year, adding little things, but this big man focuses on playing to his strengths. And for Julius Randle, back in 2014, a nightmare start to his career, Grant. Oh, man, so sad. I mean, Julius breaking his leg just 14 minutes into his NBA debut. A serious injury that required him to miss his entire rookie season. But give Randall credit for coming back and carving out a great career.
And he can't hit the second. Julius Randle, a nightly double-double threat. A guy who can occasionally drain the three, but when he first entered the league, many considered him just to be a role player. Now that role has changed. Now here's Moran. He's got five. And there's the foul. It'll go on Julius Randle. That'll be a second foul of the game. And that puts them just one foul from the bonus. Here's Jones. As far as his production, he's averaging about eight points per game. Here's Williams. Just five to shoot. Memphis needs to get off a shot. Offensive rebound. On the wing, Conchar. Three-pointer. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Well, since accepting a bigger role, Randall has really blossomed. Well, it's great to see him evolve over time and actually be a just taking on more responsibility. And with the way his game has blossomed, you can see why. He's a big part of this team. Here's quickly. The Grizzlies making their last shot. On the wing, Fournier. From the elbow. Not going to go that time. Now Memphis takes it the other way. Here's Moran. Oh, there's Moran with the slam. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. Now here's quickly. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points of the game. Back to Fournier. Unable to get that one. Memphis leading. Morant, no good. Here's Rose. And right now, he's currently putting up six and a half points per game. Outside Barrett. Takes the three. Williams grabs the board. He's not very hard to defend right now. This is when the defense might step back and let him try to find his range. Here's Moran. And he missed there. Four for eight shooting now so far. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. And that one's good. Quickly. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. All right, now a timeout called by Memphis. Here's Memphis. Four-point game. Up top, Bain. Outside, Williams. Inside. Here's Clark. And he can't get that one. Excellent D there from Toppin. Grab that one. However, so far, they're getting a little out-hustled on the board. Here's Jones, looking for his first basket still in this one. Clark. Oh, Robinson with a block. Hard to score when Robinson's down there being a factor. First free throw is good. Yeah, and we hear this a lot about the Grizzlies, but it bears repeating. There's probably no team in the NBA that has more reason for optimism than Memphis. You know, I think about all the optimism surrounding the Grizzlies. The rest of the NBA has been put on notice. The NBA, and they should be. This team should be a contender for years to come. If the front office makes the right moves, which they have in the last few years, they could be hanging up some banners very soon. Now here's Robinson. To the inside. That one's 
good. This game is all even. Well, he's a physical big down low, and I think he expects this kind of traffic around him as Mitchell Robinson comes through. Oh, now Joe. On the same ball you gave me last time. And Obi Toppin gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. One thirty-three left in the first quarter of the game. And the three-pointer goes. And the Grizzlies lead by three. Well, that's a shot he can hit. If you give it to him, you need a little more energy on defense that next trip down. Out to the wing. Back to quickly. Pass to Robinson. Toppin with it. Six on the shot clock. The ball's knocked loose. Out of bounds. It'll be Memphis's ball. Jones with the ball. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. And out of bounds. The Knicks will take it. There's 57 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Now here's quickly. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Since hiring Tom Thibodeau, every year the Knicks have been at the bottom of the league in pace. Well, Thibs rhymes with grind, doesn't it, B.A.? I mean, it doesn't really, but it should. You can tell how much these fans here in Memphis love their Grizzlies. Yeah, I mean, B.A., ever since they moved here in 2001, these fans have been so loyal. And the players are also enjoy playing here. Memphis is a fun-loving city with great barbecue and a lot of character. Now here's Robinson. He's currently averaging five points a game. Clock at six. Pass to Toppin. And stolen by Clark. Here's Jones. There's the three. Ja Morant. He's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Memphis Grizzlies. Hunting for opportunities, leading to nine points in the quarter. Good to have you with us on this Easter Sunday. We're ready for more of the NBA on 2K Sports. And looking at what we've seen from the Grizzlies, what do you think, guys? was pretty obvious. I mean, cashing in on extra opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. Working the offensive glass that sometimes comes from predictable shots from your offense, and they've been opportunistic here. Brooks outside. The three is up. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. It's off to Detroit after this game, where they will face the Pistons. And that'll be their only game on the road before heading back home. Here's Randall. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to be on Dylan Brooks. Well, he goes in there, and you're worried about getting bumped if you're a defender by Julius Randall, not the other way around. So physical. So he picks up just one from the line that time. Well, teams are always hunting mismatches. Grant, I'll put it to you here. You prefer a speed advantage or a size advantage over your defender? Well, B.A., it's all about the mismatches. And going back to when I was young and actually had some speed, it, it, it was great to be able to have both, depending upon who you went against. If a smaller player guarded you, use your size to shoot right over them. And if a bigger defender was on you, then yes, use your speed to turn the corner and get to the rim. So it On who was guarding you. Well, Brent Canada is well represented in the NBA these days. R.J. Barrett may be leading the charge. Man, if you put together a team of Oh, let's go, Canadian Mitch. Players, let's go. Really strong five Get that clip, bro. Barrett's a guy who might be the leader of that squad. And about a minute gone in the second quarter. Outside, Williams. Five on the clock. 
Outside for Brooks. Fires for three. Oh, the Grizzlies get it back. Williams on the wing. Ooh, anticipated the pass. It's a turnover. For the finish. And the big dunk at the end of the break. There are these moments where Reddish can do it all himself. A two-way threat taking pleasure in putting his stamp on those kind of sequences. Up top, Brooks. Back to Jones. There's the screen. Six to shoot. Over Brunson. And again, Memphis no good. D giving him that shot, and that's probably not a good idea, but I guess they knew what they were doing that time. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. Let's go, oh, RJ! And no, babe. Shot. And the layup is up and I'm, in. I'm Thank you. Four points now in the quarter. Thank you. We've seen that more than once today. Damn, I missed my An clip. effortless basket inside. Outside, Let's Williams. Go. Come on. Let's go. Good defense. Let's go. Reddish with it. He's picked up by Bain. Here's Brunson. Ah, bully ball. Randall inside. Randall on the screen. Shot clock at five. Come on. Brunson misses. Memphis trailing here. Here's Jones. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Over to the left wing. It's Barrett on the wing. Pass to Randall. Let's go, Julius. And the layup is good off the glass. And the Knicks lead by seven. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Knicks. Well, the effort they've shown on defense has been infectious. Everyone on this team continuing to jump at opportunities to come away with steals. Well, one thing that's noticeable is just tremendous energy from everybody, and they put that into their transition play, and all that hustle is paying off. Pass to Reddish. And here's Brunson. Jalen. Let's go. And now a 10-point New York lead. Sometimes Reddish might defer too often, and maybe sometimes that's true. But also, give him credit for being unselfish. You can't give him that foul, man. He's jumping away from it. So he'll take two free throws. Can't give him that. Finally, the Knicks breaking back into the playoffs. You know, it had been seven years since they got there, and Coach Thibodeau receiving the Coach of the Year honor, well-deserved. It was such an impressive season, and yet New York couldn't quite replicate their success the following year, Brent. Yeah, B.A., they made some moves, and they were hoping to bolster the roster in some ways, but it just didn't go as expected, and now they're retooling again. The kick out to Brunson. Four on the clock. Book it, and it's Randall with the assist. Brunson's got five points now this quarter. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. Pass to Adams. Brooks outside. Launches it. Offensive rebound. The kick out to Williams. Drills it from deep. Williams has got eight points. Slow defensive rotation causing a breakdown along the perimeter. Outside Brunson. Oh, it makes it with the kiss. Nine points in the game. Boy, absolutely no rim protection, leading to a lot of easy buckets. Outside Payne. Pass to Brooks. To the middle. Look at that defense, yo. Come on, baby. Williams in the post. He drains it as the shot clock ticks that was down. Great. 
In the NBA, if you let anyone shoot inside five feet, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage. And here's Brunson. He's got nine. Barrett can't hit. Well, the D really getting away with one there. No one on him. And that's going to be good nine out of ten times. And that one's good. Moran. In the paint, Morant stays nimble, and that allows him to make any needed adjustment to his shot. Time called here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. And as we head into this break, the players have an opportunity to replenish their energy with Gatorade as they prepare to go into the final stages of this ballgame. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, not to mention over the course of a season, you have to stay hydrated. If you don't, it's amazing how much slower your body is to bounce back. It can have a serious effect on performance, no question. New York with it. They've led by as much as 10. And Radish gets it to go. Uh, the man was wide open there. Julius Vandal understood the timing to get him the ball to get that score. Now Moran. Ain't nobody moved to help. Now, B.A., you know they would love for him to get more of those opportunities. Well, that would cut into the deficit quickly if he does. Outside Barrett. Side Brunson. Kicks it out to Barrett. Six on the shot clock. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. You know, sometimes we forget how young some of these guys are. Take R.J. Barrett, making his NBA debut at 19. Still a few years away from hitting his prime. And specifically with R.J. Barrett, it feels like he's a lot older for him. In the B.A., but he's not close to 25 yet. So what we see right now, it's not what he'll be once R.J. hits his prime. Still a lot of room to grow for him. He nails it. That's his fifth make in 11 tries. R.J.'s instincts are to score, and his instincts are taking over right now. Morant with it. He's got 13. Fires top of the key. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it. It's good. Morant's got six here in the quarter. Now, what a great option he gives them on every possession. Back to Barrett. Pass to Brunson. Randall inside. The three. And it's Brunson with the three. Brunson's got 12 points. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. And he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. Back to Moran. They grab their own miss. Man, I hate that shit, yo. Second chance. And again, point. it's Memphis with a <sighs> three. No way he's going to pass that shot up. The D is way too far back and relaxed in getting out on it. Outside Reddish. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And the more and more Cam Reddish gets confidence in that kind of game where he's going to go inside and attack, that's a big help. That's also good. So he hits. Both free throws. Huh? Heating up from the line this quarter, helping their cause for it? sure. They're right around 80% now. I'll call the duty mode. Uh. Outside Morant. Pass to Clark. And a great assist by Morant as that one goes. 
Clark's got his first basket of the night. Timeout called. The Knicks. with the lead. Now here's quickly. Williams grabs the board. And here are the Grizzlies. Next up, they'll face the Timberwolves in Minnesota. That'll wrap up the short two-game road trip. Two open that time. Made it look easy. Now just a four-point Nick lead. Of all the action happening there, it's the assist that jumps out to me there. That's just a great look and a great setup for the bucket. Randall, right side. Out to Rose. There's the drive. The Grizzlies pull it in. Yeah, I can't see why he missed that one there. The D's close, but looked like plenty of room. Outside Moran. out to Williams. Launches a three. No luck on that one. New York goes the other way with it. For three, Randall. And the shot's off. One for two in this one. He had more than enough room to hit that. Just couldn't make it happen. Pass to Conchar. Back to Moran. Williams on the wing. Buries it from three. Williams has got 13. They've been pretty lax with their perimeter defense, giving up a lot of three-pointers. Now Fournier. Back to quickly. Three-pointer. Clark grabs the board. You know, every coach should show players game tape of how he just boxed out right there. Great job with the footwork and using his body to step to the rebound. Williams with the screen. Here's Moran. And there are the Grizzlies with another bucket. Very consistent tonight at the offensive end. Right there, he helps fuel the fire. Rose outside. The kick out to Fournier. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Rose. Knicks leap by two. Well, he's got the long-range motion going now. Fournier for three. All right, now a timeout called by Memphis.
43 seconds left to play in the first half. Here's Jones. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. And Mitchell Robinson picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. That's his second foul, but not the end of the world. One more before halftime, though. That would change some things. Brooks left side. From outside the arc. Good. And the setup by Moran. Brooks has gotten his third basket of the night. It's Barrett on the wing. it in from close range. Ja Moran, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Grizzlies. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. Back after this. Second half of basketball is upon us and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. Here's Brooks. Fires the three. It's rebounded by Barrett. To the paint. Pass, man. Well, oh, pass. Pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Brunson's got 14 points for the game. On the wing vein. Back to Brooks. Here's Conchar. This is the three. And here's New York now. They've led by as much as 10. Here's Brunson. Soft touch off the glass. And it's a three-point New York lead. When it's this close, every bucket matters. You need good looks. Here's Moran. Cash. He's nine for 14 in the game. He plays with so much confidence. When Morant gets in the zone, he stays aggressive. Outside Reddish. Back to Brunson. Shoots over Morant. Excellent D there from Morant. In 2013, Steven Adams was selected 12th overall by OKC, the first first-rounder born in New Zealand. Yeah, B.A., I mean, Adams is blazing a new trail. An example for kids in his home island of New Zealand. You, too, can become an NBA player. Here's Barrett. Oh, Adams with the block. And Steven Adams just throwing that one out of the way. Memphis trailing here. Morant with it, and it's Brunson picking him up. Back to Bain. Good, and the setup by Morant. Bain's gotten his second bucket of the game. Six lead changes in a game that has a lot of character. Yeah, both sides stepping up and making big plays. Reddish. No good on the three. And so it's Memphis with it. Pass to Brooks. He buries it from three. Brooks has got 11 points. The assist numbers certainly stand out. They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Here's Randall. And the layup falls. He's got six. The strength and the quickness, and now the confidence coming along as Randall's able to score. Now Morant. He's got 19 to the inside. Robinson with the block. And he's able to get it back. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. You gotta try to scramble the Jets right here and get that guy off the sweet spot. That's one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Now a timeout called by New York.
teams making some changes here. A little under three and a half minutes off the clock now in the third quarter. Quickly up top. Pass to Fournier. Let's go with a three. The Grizzlies pull it in. And that one's good for Brooks. And now it's a seven-point Grizzly lead. That's the guy they're going to keep going to as they should. The lead's only going up if they keep feeding it. Now here's Rose. That's it quickly. Just five on the clock. New York needs to get one up quick. The timer ticks. They get the rebound. Randall. Count the basket. Randall's gotten four this quarter. Is somebody not alert to block out the wide frame of Julius Randall who gets in there after the loose ball. And out of bounds. The Knicks will take it. Rose with it. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Outside Fournier. That one is off. Now Memphis takes it the other way. Here's Bain. Randall pulls down the board. New York trailing. Rose left side. Shot clock at six. From 12 feet. Rose can't connect. Memphis with the ball. They're on a 12 to 4 run. Back to Jones. Outside Bay. Adams a screen. Bain with it, and it's Robinson picking him up. Two points. That one goes. And what's working here, each guy is willing to make the next pass. Now here's quickly. It's rebounded by Memphis. Outside Jones. Pass to Bain. This one for three. Dives for it. Randall pulls down the board. Just hasn't found much consistency from the floor. But his teammates have picked up the slack. The kick out to Fournier. Now Robinson. Here's Rose. Five to shoot. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. Outside Jones. Adams a screen. Fires the three. The shot no good. So New York will take it the other way now. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Rose outside. Pass to Robinson. Jones from outside. Fournier with a rebound. Okay, and he has not made one shot in this one. Has to be on his mind every time he's pulling up. And that one's good. Quickly. Hey, if you give him room, he's going to score the ball. Outside Bain. Here's the three. That one no good. New York with the ball. Trailing by five. Here's quickly. Jones grabs the board. And it's the Grizzlies with the ball. Four three. Counted from distance. Jones has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack 
from three-point range. And maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three -point range. Rose can't connect. And they're doing strong work on the glass. A plus five advantage for them. Right side bay. And again, it's Memphis with a three. That's pretty much not how they want to defend the three-point line. Somebody's got to shadow him out there. Here's quickly. Five points in the game. On the wing, Fournier. No good. A bit long that time. This feels like it snowballed a little bit on them. The more he tries to shoot his way out of this slump, the worse it seems to get. They need him to get it together. From deep pain. The Knicks pull it in. Pass to Rose. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. Rose has got his first two points. Smart play from Rose. Getting up close to the basket for a high percentage look. And here's Bain. He's got seven. Back to Jones. Here's Conchar. Puts up a three. Quickly with a rebound. And here's New York now. Nine-point game. The shot misses. Jones with some nice D. His shots aren't dropping. They haven't been able to keep pace, but they trust him enough to keep going to him, see if he can find who's Time called here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. And there's nothing more frustrating for a coach than seeing his team giving up a bunch of second-chance points. That's going to be the main topic during this timeout. Change it up. Stripped away. Outside there. Back to Toppin. Down low. Reddish gets it to go. Reddish has got his third basket on the night right there. And that bump does not throw Cam Reddish off. On the wing, Jones. Pass to Williams. Three-pointer, Brooks. He can't get that one to fall. New York goes the other way with it. We've got 118 left in the third. Outside Brunson. Barrett with it. Four on the clock. And Morant clears the board. I'll tell you what. They've been aggressive and they've been physical. Here's Brooks. Takes the elbow jumper and drains it. Brooks has got seven points here in the quarter. He was wide open, but just to make sure, he put a little fade on that jump. The three, Barrett. Grizzlies with the rebound. That's another just bad decision on a night full of those. The shot selection tonight has been questionable at best. Defensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Twenty-four seconds left in the third quarter. Out of bounds, it'll go to the Grizzlies. So it's both teams making substitutions here. All right, now a timeout called by Memphis.
Memphis leading. Pass to Conchar. And there's the foul. It'll go on Derrick Rose. That's his first foul of the game. 17 seconds left in the third. Now Jones. Williams with the screen to the right side with one on the clock. Jones, his shot is good. Jones has got five now. That's nice vision there. You see that pass, you make the feed before the defense has a chance to react, and that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. And so it... And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. And here are the Knicks now. They trail by 11. Pass to Barrett. Let's the three fly. Trains the triple. Yeah, he can be just lethal from the perimeter. Even though he didn't get good looks in the first quarter, will that make right there? That could change things. Jones from outside. It's hauled in by Robinson. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Pass to Barrett. Drives to the hoop. And there it is for him. Barrett's got five points in the quarter. RJ does such a nice job of just changing the speeds out there. And when he does that and picks the right angle, he'll score. Now here's Jones. Over Rose. Tried to bank it in, but it misses. Well, there's more he could have done in this game for sure, but it hasn't kept them from pulling ahead. Back to Reddish. Clock at six. There's a screen by Toppin. Reddish misses. We've made our way through just over a minute and a half of this fourth quarter. Pain, no good. He's not sure if he ran out of energy at halftime or what, but uh, so far just not himself in the second half. Rose with the bucket. I mean, how many times have you seen that? Derrick Rose driving, scoring, exerting his will on the game. Morant with it. Picked up by Reddish. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. A unique talent. Ja Moran has taken the NBA by storm. Grant, does Ja remind you of anyone? Well, many people, including Paul George, have compared Ja to a young D. Rose. Yet each explosive athlete's at the one position. Both Ja and Rose leading their teams at a young age as well. And Clark with a block. And it's going to be out of bounds. New York will have another go. Quickly outside. Robinson in the post. Three on the clock. Puts it up from 17. Quickly left side. Shoots over Moran. And it's quickly with a miss. I know he's on a cold streak, but he can't let that get in his head. Especially if you're a player that doesn't get a lot of shot attempts. But otherwise, the mindset is, I just got to get the next one to go. And you don't want to put that much pressure on yourself. It's Barrett on the wing. And the defense didn't have position. They whistle a blocking foul, and he'll go to the line. You can count on R.J. Barrett to come at you night after night. He plays with a lot of determination, and at some point will lead a ball club. Just about three minutes through the fourth and final quarter here. Right side, Moran. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Moran's gotten four this quarter. Absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. Confidence is sensational, and it feels like no one is going to stop him tonight from scoring. On the wing, Fournier. Toppin outside. Ran 
Randall outside. Shot clock at five. Back to Toppin. That shot off the mark. Good work defensively by Brooks. Outside Moran. Outside Jones. Brooks from outside. Oh, he connects. His seventh basket. He's seven of 15 now. Well, he now has four three-pointers this game, guys. Two in each half. He's really spacing out the floor for his teammates. On the wing, Fournier. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Outside Jones. Up top, Moran. Into the lane. Oh, he powers right through the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul, too. And he'll go to the line. It's going to go on R.J. Barrett. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Grizzlies. Well, you love their unselfish play. Keeping that ball moving. Good shot to great. That's winning basketball. And it seemed like throughout this game, right after the jump ball, they've just been feeling it from distance, getting all the looks they want and continuing to take advantage of that three-point line. Brooks outside. Right at the free throw line. And Toppin pulls it down. They still have time to make this a game, but they really need to focus in because they let this game get away from them a little bit. The kick out to Fournier. He drops it from range. He's taking what he can get here, has a three in each half. Morant with it. Clark with the screen. Brooks. Ooh, the Grizzlies with another miss. Here's quickly. Excellent D there from Moran. And he just hasn't been able to get it going this period. No, I haven't seen him in, in comfortable spots, or at least spots we've seen in this offensive set that are allowing him to settle in. Now here's Barrett. Sometimes with that ball, RJ can put it in some spots where the defender gets on his heels. Here's Moran. Oh, no good again that time. Barrett with it, and Clark picks him up defensively. Barrett can't hit. Memphis leading. Pass to Moran. Brooks outside. Got to Moran. Inside. Doesn't go for him. New York goes the other way with it. And here's quickly. And stolen by Bain. Knocks it loose. The Knicks in transition. Randall, good. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Knicks. Well, their D has been a major story tonight. I mean, those steals and putting pressure on the ball, clogging the passing lanes, impressive. You also have to admire the way they've gotten out and run in transition. And they've run wide, they've run their lanes, they've been doing it with a great pace. And that's produced some easy scores.
catch up with Allie LaForce. Hey guys, I had a chance to find out what Taylor Jenkins was discussing with his players. Uh, he told his players, you know your job. Now just go out and do it. Don't get caught up in the moment. I want you to play with a steady pulse. He understands the emotions can run high at this stage of the game. All right, Allie, thanks once again. Yeah, teams try to get physical with Moran, but he shows exceptional body control off the contact. Yeah, sometimes in a game you settle a little bit before settling in, and right now I think he's a big factor in how they're getting to the line. And he got the whistle on the way up, so he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Well, one of the free agent moves that wasn't surprising was Brunson joining the Knicks. The two were enamored with each other early on in the process. A big signing for the Knicks, and Brunson now gets a chance to be a main piece of a team. Brooks outside. Back to Morant. Deflected. And Toppin has that kind of reach. 7-2 wingspan. Get that out of here. Brunson misses. Yeah, the defense there in chill mode. We all know he can burn them from three-point range. Brooks outside. Here's Adams. And here's Moran outside. On target from range. Moran's got 32 points in the game. Outside Reddish. Top it inside. Back to Reddish. Grizzlies with the rebound. To the middle. Outside for Brooks. To the inside. Outside Moran. Inside. Howard down after the assist. Led him to the lane. Oh, not the defensive effort they need to cut into the lead. Or good call. You have to at least try to protect the rim. Good job to recognize the opportunity. That's just very solid offense. Now a timeout called by New York. On defense, the Grizzlies. They held a 12-point lead earlier. Top of the left side. Pass to Barrett. The kick out to Brunson. Just five to shoot. Adams grabs the miss. And it's the Grizzlies with the ball. They've got a nine-point lead. And he lobs it up. Slammed in by Adams. Well, not many times does Adams get his number called for plays like that, but the oop there look good. And it's John Morant with the foul. That's his first foul. Left side Brunson. Offensively, they're really struggling here in the second half. The missed shots continue to pile up, and their field goal percentage is way down. Sends it home from three-point land. And the Grizzlies lead by 14. The defense had him confused early on, but he's responded in the second half with some assertive play. Randall right side. Over Bain. New York no good that time either. <laughs> they are really struggling to stop this run. Frustration seems to be mounting here, and you can see not just in their faces, but right now in their quick and hurried shot selection. <laughs> Hits the three-pointer. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. We love it. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. Brooks outside. To Moran. A minute 39 left in the final quarter. Down to five on the shot clock. The shot no good. And New York the other way now. And the foul called on R.J. Barrett. That'll be a second foul of the game. 
Grant, you look at the playoffs last year. I mean, a lot of big name stars struggle to deliver. Is that every year, or you think that was an anomaly? I, you know, B.A., I think it was a bit of an anomaly. I mean, I, I, I think you think what's happened in the league in the last few years with the bubble and then the restart last season, there's been a lot of basketball played, and I think it's impacted a lot of players. So I think moving forward, we'll get back to a level of normalcy with the rest and recovery of the offseason, and big-name stars will continue to excel and thrive in the years to come. A minute six left in the fourth quarter. Morant with it, and it's Toppin picking him up. Outside, Williams. Over Brunson. It's safe to say they have dominated this game. The game wasn't even as close as the score says in a great win for the Grizzlies. Offensively, they made the most of their trips. They found multiple ways to score consistently, and a little luck doesn't hurt them either. They also got some nice bounces off the rim tonight, too. And with this win, they've tallied up a total of six wins on the year. And against a non-conference opponent, you really want to win the first one. They'll go into the next one knowing how to beat this team for sure. And even the opposing fans can't deny this was a sensational game for Ja Moran. A quality offensive outing. When you get it going like he did, I'll tell you, it's one of the best feelings in basketball. Brooks from outside. Nails it from three. And they came in here with some attitude, and it brought out their best play. Yeah, it looks like a veteran team tonight, getting out on the road, playing with assertiveness, confidence, fully in control for this win. And so it's the Grizzlies taking care of business in this one. This one wasn't even close. The hometown crowd was waiting for a miracle that never...